Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. So God is saying that they were looking at you, all eyes were on you when you arrived. And then the eyes are still on you. All people are still looking at you and the eyes will still be on you when this happens when this happens to you in the mighty name of jesus that is why you could also see in the life of naomi and ruth after they had lost their marriages after they had lost their husbands and after ruth or now after naomi had lost her two children and then now they had to return to their country this is what happened ruth chapter one verse 19 the bible says so the two women went on until they came to bethlehem when they arrived in bethlehem the whole town was stirred because of them and the woman exclaimed can this be naomi so imagine when they were there when they arrived being at their lowest point all the women so you could see that these people were even from a snoopy town a town where people did not even mind their own business the whole town was so excited to see them the whole town was looking at them and questioning each other asking each other can this be Naomi so all eyes were on them and at that particular time you know when you're going through a difficult time in your life you don't even want people to be looking at you you don't even want people to be making remarks you don't even want to be speaking to a lot of people or receiving a lot of attention but this is what was happening to them i'm sure it was a very difficult moment for them it reminded her of her pain it reminded her that when she left that particular place she was full but now coming back she is empty it reminded her of what she has had lost in her life but god is saying that yes you might be in the same shoes as her there are triggers there are events that are reminding Reminding you that now your life is not as full as it used to be that now you are empty in your life that now you are crying over something that now you have suffered a loss in your life but God is saying that this will soon be changing in the mighty name of Jesus that is why also when you read the book of Ruth chapter 3 now when Ruth was speaking to Boaz and Boaz was saying to her that all the people of the town know who you are know that you are a woman of virtue let me read it for you this is what it says verse 11 and now my daughter don't be afraid i will do for you all you ask all the people of my town know that you are a woman of noble character so imagine even in this particular scripture it's saying all the people of my town so it means that these people have been watching her closely they have been looking at her they have been talking about her and not just a few of them but all of them it's like they were all meddling in their affairs it's like she was that interest the point of interest or a topic of interest people were just discussing Ruth people were just discussing Naomi every time it means that every time people saw them passing they would just discuss them when they did not have anything to be talking about they would just be discussing Ruth and discussing Naomi so you could see that it was all people's eyes that were on them people were talking about them and you might even find that they were not aware that they were so many eyes that way looking at them Ruth was not aware that there are so many eyes that way monitoring her she was not even aware but god is also saying that you are also not aware many eyes are on you many people are looking at you some are sympathizing with you but they can't come to you and tell you that how or and tell you how sorry they are for the things that you have experienced in your life but they are all aware of the things that have happened in your life but when you read in the next chapter the good thing is that now her story was beginning to change she now found marriage she now even had a son so you could see that now the story changed and now the same people that saw them at their lowest point the same people that were talking about them were now the same people who were witnessing the transformation in their lives who were witnessing their restoration who were witnessing the elevation in their lives in the mighty name of jesus so god is also saying in your life all eyes will still be on you when God changes your story, all eyes will still be 
on you when God restores. All eyes will be on you when you get married. All eyes will be on you when your business succeeds. All eyes will be on you when you buy that property in the mighty name of Jesus. So God is saying that yes, eyes might be on you right now and you might not be in your good state in your life. There might be nothing good to look at, but come the next few months, your life will be so good to look at in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.